Hey, I'm Noah, and today I'm reacting to The Wire Season 4, Episode 8, titled Corner Boys. With that title, I assume we're going to be focusing more on the Corner Boys, and that makes me a little worried. I feel like I've been just waiting for something really bad to happen, so this might be the episode that happens, but hopefully I'm wrong. If you enjoy my reaction, please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Patreon for full-length reactions. But that's enough talking, let's hop into the episode. Rashad has 82 apples, 7 have worms, and another 15 have gone rotten. Nobody's listening. He wants to be fair and distribute all the good apples equally. Distribute? Give out. We'll just say that, yo. <laughs> we gotta do a vocab class as well. <laughs> Calvin, you done already? Uh-huh. Yeah? <laughs> B, five. How'd you work that out so fast? If you want, I can show you. What is this? You did this with the early math class, right? Then you went like, thinking all around this one and no other one. So the answer is B, five. Is he right? And I'm an Audi, 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> that's a different level of smarts. That's the type of thinking I usually did. And that's definitely a sign of intelligence. If you could just harness that into learning some other stuff too. We got our thing, but it's just part of the big thing. Zenobia. Our CID commander, Raymond Forster, after a long bout with cancer, passed away last night at Johns Hopkins. Rest in peace. Why are they just watching him? No, 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 fuck that. You finish your pot, you make the next one. Oh, they set him up. Okay. <laughs> Humble him. Some Jamaican woman says you had her stopped and searched by Amtrak police. We had what we thought was reliable info. What was the info? The CIA's been reliable. Give me his name. Okay. Fuzzy Dunlop, sir. Here we go. I might have to set up a meet with this character. He's been reliable, I promise you. Is it finally gonna backfire on him? Anything comes of this. I have your report, and I will bury you with it. <laughs> oh my god. In case you haven't been paying attention to the election results, your rabbi has left the building. That is true. The word around school is, you're down here because you beat the system. You won. <laughs> yeah. They're proud of themselves. Yeah, that's how we did. Too sweet. <laughs> Players. Kingpins? Nah, that comes later. <laughs> so how long until your kingpins? I'm thinking two, three years. Seems pretty fast. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? This isn't schoolwork, this is about y'all. She's young, but she's good. Yeah, this teacher's good. All right, show of hands, how many wrote MBA? Yeah, but only for the Lakers, though. <laughs> I want to be a pediatric neurosurgeon like that one nigga. Ben Carson. Well, that's good hopes. How many wrote down dead? Shit, you saw that coming, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the edgy answer. Hey, let me ask y'all something. What makes a good car, boy? Keep your eyes open. Keep the count straight. Don't trust <laughs> nobody. <laughs> <laughs> this will get him talking. Now you out of line here, Bob. You are. A lot of names. Too many. No. <laughs> Healed the combo. You're in for a tough battle if you want to get the murders way down. His name pops up on five or six cases I know of, and you want to put him back on the street? But this ain't him. Yeah, can't really blame either way. Just go back on it with me. What? Shit doesn't play out any differently. I'll give you a back rub that you ain't never gonna forget. <laughs> Bunk wants to do the right thing. There's worse people than Omar. You know, you guys don't need to do anything you would normally do just because I'm here. You're making everything awkward. I wouldn't know what we normally do around here. I'm new and inexperienced. <laughs> I'm not the hall monitor or anything. So awkward. They're just gonna show what they normally do. Everything they normally do. So this is your day? We catch a body, it's different. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you have like other cases to work on though? Whoa. My camera? Oh, what? You do me one, I'll do you. You actually stopped Marlo. Video camera gotta come back. I'll see what I can find out about it. But you know cameras. Kinda like pigeons in a stall. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> sometimes they come back, sometimes. Can't say I ever heard about <laughs> heard that about cameras. Just admit the camera got took. I already put it down to the CI. I told Dickhead the truth. He takes my stripes on it. That's why you don't lie thing with the teachers and cops and whatnot they always come at you like they got you by the ass but you keep your mouth shut ain't nothing they could do best strategy is not say anything Miss Anna, she got me on a short leash right now shit at least you've got a leash sometimes it's better to have rules now is this another person that actually died in real life jeez what's going on bunk Nasty. What the fuck is that? Club soda. And lime. 
He's not even drinking at all anymore. Why not just suck the dick and get it over with? <laughs> Wow. What a juxtaposition between that <laughs> and this. That's where I saw his eye move. Here we lay a couple New York boys who came too far south for their own fucking good. Dang. But what are these people doing that makes them kill them? You want some Chinese? It's just so casual for them. How do you get one third of a car? It's actually one third of all the cars. Was I talking to you? Jeez. Short temper. You get close enough, you can take a headshot. This may be messed up. Word. Chest shot maybe won't do it for you. They're teaching how to kill, huh? Can't risk a headshot. You go for the belly, the dick, or the ass area. <laughs> the vest don't go down that far. Yep. Bam! Take him out. Don't shoot for the chest, I guess. Finish him off. With a headshot. Y'all coming along full effect. Seems like pretty basic stuff. You doing okay running them New York niggas off the east side? If you just vanish in the bodies like that, it do kind of defeats his own purpose. Oh, well. You feel me? I tell my people. Gotta leave some out on the street. We just trying to send a message to these New York people in full effect. Tell you get caught, though. Leaving evidence. Maybe they want him to get caught. So you saying you don't ever give anybody a break? Nah, nah, because if you let them slide for a dollar, it's a sign that you weak. Yeah, don't want to show weakness. Yo, yo. Yo, man, we need some pills. Yo, 20 for the pills and 10 for you. Give me a minute. You really setting this dude up? Amazing motherfucker. This shit is right around the corner. <laughs> What's the point of this? Bullshit, man. With cars and bullshit right here. This is really what you're putting your effort into. And you taking my break too? One down. That's so stupid. Stop right here, man. You gotta realize how dumb that is, Karkiddy. Put a stop to this. Andre. So listen, tell me one more time how the thing went down, will you? Are those cameras really on? That'd be surprising. Puts a nine on her, says to me, whatever you got. Where were you? Where you see me at. Mm-hmm. Then how'd he beat you up? Nah, I wouldn't go through this. Why'd you come out? Because he said to. Trying to save her life. Right. Don't put words in his mouth. And who put that up there? Hmm? Guy must have had an elephant gun. Boy had a mask on. A mask, huh? <laughs> you come down to the office, straighten out a couple of things. I ain't going nowhere. He's sketchy. This whole story is fucked, and here's why. First, it don't make any sense. <laughs> Shooter took out the woman. He should be dead, too. Yep. He's shining us on about that 50 cal hole because I know who put it there, and he knows who put it there. And if he were to say, oh, that that's uh, Omar's previous, which is what happened, he'd be fucked. Good job, Bunk. Job is it about picking the stories we like best. Now you're going to lecture me about what the job is? You need the lecture. Let's go downtown. Just do the right case, no matter what. Those my pills, I swear. That's two. <laughs> can you keep account for him? You going by the gym today? Nah, man, I gotta go vol up what's left yeah. on this package so I can re up. All right, peace, man. I got a bad feeling about Neymar. What level are you on? 12. I never made it past 10. Wanna see me get to 40? That's cheating. <laughs> Want me to show you how? He's got a bright career ahead of him. Yes, ma'am. This is uh, Sydney Handjerker with <laughs> Handjerker Cohen and Bromberg. What a name. Locator Sergeant Thomas Houck. Oh, this is Urban Pepper of Pepper Pepper and Bailey for. <laughs> Major crimes, Test results for Thomas Houck. He's on the <laughs> So he's more worried about it now that it's major crimes. We gotta make sure he's from New York first, right? Ask a Baltimore question. Maybe something about club music. They don't know nothing about that shit up in New York. They got no plan. The Big Fat Morning Show. Who's your favorite one on the Big Fat Morning Show, yo? Yeah? New York girl. Who? Snoop. Snoop, yo. Oh, God. Yo. <laughs> JB on the show, too. <laughs> so maybe I ask the questions from now on, all right? Jeez. Are you with this? I've been fighting this bullshit for years. So what's the problem? Problem is I do what I'm told. Meaning? He's useless. <laughs> I'm no more a racist than you are. Think about affirmative action. I'm just talking policy here. No offense intended. None take. <laughs> hiring a black officer to keep up with the city demographic. Got to show arrests are up 15, 20 percent. We'll worry about the quality later. It's all about the numbers. However, if those orders were to change, or if I had the opportunity to change for myself. Trying to get promoted, but Daniels is a way better option. I'd like to kick his pale and tighten that. Are you listening? He's no more a racist than I am. <laughs> what have you heard about this fellow Daniels? Not much politically. I don't think he's got any suction with anybody. Well, at least he'll be good at his job. Ma, where's the rice-a-roni? There's this boy in the stoop, looked like he was starving. Huh? 
I just gave it to him. Just gave it to him. How much did you sell the groceries for? Don't look at me like that. Oh, wow. Michael bought groceries for them and parents sold them off. Tan. Wow. It's Rooney profit. Michael, come on. He's paying his parents. It says card. If you ain't gonna do right by me. You won't let me hold that card. You a hard child. That is tragic. He's like a parent to his own parents. Next time, don't go selling the food out of our mouths. Horrible. You think you could sit down and write down the laws to your thing? Hell yeah, I'll do it right now. No, I'm talking about can y'all do it together. Interesting. We're getting somewhere with this class. Get up. Hands on your head. What are they doing? My lunch. Fuck you. This is harassment. What I say to you? Fuck you. Oh, okay. That's what you said to me. <laughs> True. I'm gonna be in your people shit like this every day until my camera comes home. Every day. Dude, he's gonna get himself killed. I'll think about that. That was our mayor to be. Carcetti? He's trying to recruit. He wants to meet. You and him? Alone? <laughs> Look at you. How honest should I be? Fully honest. If he's calling you, it's because guys like Burrell and Rawls are on the ropes. Very true. This is your shot. I know there's a risk, but I'd fire away. Carcetti wants the truth. Shaking and jiggling it, yo. Who made that track? Yo, who you talking to, dog? <laughs> Nigga, how the fuck should I know? Yo, who the <laughs> fuck is you talking Oh, wow. Bitch. Like there we go. So they just go around killing all the New York bros. Michael, my daddy came home. Daddy came Uh-oh. Michael. Damn, you grew. You definitely have a bad relationship with him. Motherfucker what? Is that a search warrant? You swore he wasn't coming back. This is a good thing, Michael. You lied to me. This ain't good. People change, Michael. What did his dad do? Back to Independence Car, too. He gonna take care of all that for us. Can't trust him. Exactly. Okay. Michael needs someone to talk to. He's not gonna open up to Prez. You okay? Yeah. Something at home? No. Come on. I said no. Okay, I can write you a pass to see the social worker. Can't see him doing that. Do you want to see the social worker? But he should. Hmm, yeah. definitely want him to talk to somebody. This is uncharted territory. But where do you go from here? Uh, how about we just let this ride and see where it takes us? Gotta get him comfortable in there. Once you got it, it's all you. Anything happen, I'm gonna have to fuck you up. <laughs> Marlo weighs that shit every time. I ain't shaking shit. Cause if you do fuck with it, I'm gonna know. Trying to set some rules. See, you under 13 and shit, so you safe from everybody but me and Marlo. <laughs> you my lieutenant. And all I get is extra $10? Yeah, hey, you do this good and we'll talk. Really hiring young, huh? Crazy how young he is. How much time does a witness get for lying to your grand jury? 10 years. You got people going away for 10 years? No. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> 10 years. <laughs> really putting the fear in him. Step out of the car, please. You gonna find a gun on him? Hands on your car? No way they don't have guns on him right now. Cross your feet, put your hands on your head. How does he keep finding these the right people? What are you building a clubhouse? Yo, that's your nails, be cool. <laughs> Jesus. I want my fucking camera. He has no idea who he's talking to right now. So, what am I thinking? You witnessed a waste of time, money, energy, and in a few cases, talent. True. We did have one unit doing high-end stuff. Major crimes, working out of an off-site down on Clinton Street. And now they're dead. I'm gonna need a new CID commander right away. Would you object to being made colonel, working under Rawls? Under Rawls? Yeah. Deputy Ops, is he not? Come on. Colonel Daniels? Hmm. But he has to work under Rawls? Maybe he's our eyeball witness. Little Kevin. Little Kevin. I don't think there was any witnesses. But I don't know why uh, Randy's not talking about the body they went to go see. 420. Where's the rest? I'm on a hard strip. Fuck you doing there. Your father built them corners and they owe you. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to straighten this shit out right now. Ma, let me build. This is not a good idea. I'm uncomfortable the way Carcetti is running around in our shop talking He's to talked people. to me several times. You're out, man. It is what it is. You're making your move, huh? We were a good team, you and me. We were. He's mad. Nothing he could do about it. Priscilla, where Bug at? The man who came and picked him up said he was his father. No. What is this father doing? Got bad feelings about him. 
The fuck did you do? His job. Your job is to turn red to black, not the other way. Stand the fuck up for yourself. His job is to solve the murders truthfully. That's not what you want. Six and sixes. Twelve. Fuck, get over to me now. We were just going to Now. He must be like creep or something. I throw in all this stuff away now because the cops saw it. <laughs> Her nail gun. Yo, you owe me 800 on that, bitch. You out. <laughs> That's the episode. Okay, I was wrong about something crazy happening this episode, but I feel like the biggest thing that happened this episode was Michael's dad coming home. And I don't know if I'm getting this right or not, but he feels like he's some sort of creep. And if that's the case, I can definitely see why Michael has these issues trusting father-like figures. Because the life he had growing up was probably horrible. And I really, really respect Michael for standing up for his brother. And I hope he can find a way out of that household soon. I've been enjoying seeing Bunk try to actually figure out this case. Not that Omar deserves to be out of prison, but he isn't the worst criminal. Right now, that would be Marlo and his crew. And Herc messing with Marlo's crew so much makes me pretty worried for him. I know these gangs try to avoid killing cops as much as possible because that just puts like a huge focus on them. But Herc's poking around real close so it does get me a little worried but overall i've been really enjoying this season so far if you enjoyed my reaction please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode peace